Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick follow-up video on one of my previous videos on the WYSIWYGON MCR54. Uh, in that video, I talked a little bit about the WYSIWYGON MCR54's Compander Modes. And I did that video because I am using the WYSIWYGON MCR54 with the Sennheiser EW500 G4 transmitters. Both the plug-on transmitter, uh, which I have a couple I use on the end of my boom pole, which I love, and also I have a number of the body pack transmitters. Um, in that video, I uh, talked a little bit about the compander mode, the SEN compander mode. And when I posted that video, uh, I got some great feedback on it. Um, and I had a couple people say, um, there's another compander mode on there that might work a little bit better with the EW500s. So uh, that compander mode is called EVO uh, for the Evolution series. And so I gave it a try, and sure enough, I found out that it did sound a, a little bit better than the Sennheiser mode, the SEN mode. So I wanted to do another video just following up on that um, and comparing the two uh, compander modes. A couple other comments that I got um, after I posted that video were, uh, was there any way that, uh, because I had used only the plug-on transmitter for that review, could I also uh, do a test of the companion modes using the body pack transmitter? So I thought we could uh, do that here as well. So a little bit about how I have this set up. Uh, right now I have the plug-on transmitter to the NT1. Uh, we'll switch to the body pack transmitter a little bit later. Um, on the MCR54, I actually have set up channel one and channel four uh, to both be receiving on the same frequency. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be okay, but I tried it. Uh, it let me set it up that way and I couldn't really hear any um, problem or any interference with it. So um, what is different between those two channels is channel one is using the uh, SEN compander mode and channel four is using the EVO compander mode. So um, why don't I just recite a quick poem uh, and then uh, we can hear how that sounds on the NT1. And then I'll switch over to the um, body pack transmitter. Uh, and since I'll be on a lav mic, which I have right here, um, I'll just walk through uh, how you change the compander settings on the MCR54. So. For a bit of a comparison, um, let's do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Okay, so I'm gonna play that back. This uh, first time you heard it, just now, that was with the SEN compander mode. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. So the second time you heard it, uh, I had switched the audio track to be the um, EVO compander mode. So what do you think? Does one sound better than the other? Um, my, to my ears, I find that the uh, EVO mode uh, is a little bit closer to the sound that you get from the Sennheiser receiver. So I think that's the mode I'm gonna probably use it in. The other interesting feature that I found, and I'll demonstrate this uh, when we switch to the body pack, is that uh, you get the status of the mute switch or the mute uh, on the on the display of the uh, MCR54, which is really handy. So why don't we do that now? Let's switch over. I'm going to shut off the power on the uh, plug-on transmitter. I'm going to turn on the power on the body pack transmitter, and uh, we'll have a listen to that. So might be some kerfuffle as I, I do that, but um, hopefully I'll mute it. Okay, so now we are on the body pack transmitter. I have the lav mic placed right here, kind of in the center of my chest. And uh, this is the Sennheiser MKE-2 Gold. Um, going over here to the, to the receiver, uh, you can see that one of the channels has picked it up in diversity mode. That's the indicated by the blue light um, here on the WYSICOM. Uh, channel four is in the green mode, which means it's um, uh, not in the diversity mode. So uh, the first channel is using the B antenna. Uh, the fourth channel here is using the A antenna. Now I'm going to just switch quickly to mute 
Um, and you can see that channel four, which is using the SEN compander mode, will uh, switch to red, and you can see that it's in the mute mode. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, since I'm using the body pack transmitter and the lav mic, let's have a look at how to um, set up the compander modes on the MCR54. Channel one uh, and channel four are active. So in the menu, just click menu and then click again to go into setup. And then you, uh, this is where you're able to scan, uh, select, go through and edit your channel setups. So I'm gonna edit channel one and you can see up at the top here, there's Compend. So currently it's in the SEN mode. Uh, you just hit enter, I'm not gonna change it. You can just hit enter to select that. And then you can use the up and down arrow keys here to kind of cycle through which compander mode you want. You hold down the menu button, it will save that. And then you're saved. And if I just back out of here, and I scroll through to receiver four, hit select. You can see that receiver four is in the EVO mode. So that's, uh, it's as easy as that to change the compander mode. So if you're using different uh, microphones, if you're fortunate to have, to have some of the WYSICOM uh, mic uh, transmitters, which are fantastic, and I hope to get a couple of those fairly soon, um, that's, uh, where you would change the commander mode. So you're able to use a mix of different kinds of transmitters uh, with this receiver. I'm interested in your feedback on which of those two modes uh, you think sounds better. I'm gonna post in the description links to a Dropbox that'll have the uh, WAV files for these. So if you want, you can download them and listen to them on a good pair of headphones and uh, listen to the differences between those two different companion modes. Um, so one of the other reasons that I got the MCR54 was the ability to use external antennas. Um, I've seen people modify the antenna on the uh, body pack transmitters, uh, but they, d that doesn't give you diversity. And so I was interested in getting something that would give me true diversity. So I got these Betzel bow ties and I'm super excited about trying them out um, and doing a range test, a walk test um, with the body pack transmitter. And while I can't actually test different transmitters because I only have one, I can test um, the, quali the, the ability of the receiver to receive versus the Sennheiser receiver. So that's my next text. We had terrible, cold, nasty weather here in Canada, but it looks like things are warming up a little bit. So hopefully next week, I'll be able to get outside and do a bit of a walk test. And I'm gonna walk test um, the WYSICOM with the antennas on it. Uh, it's their stock antennas that come with it uh, against the Sennheiser receiver and then I'm going to put the bow ties on and try it that way and then I'm also going to try the bow ties on a pole with a, an extension cable and see how that works. So it's going to be a bit of a it's going to be a lot of walking but it should be an interesting test. So uh, if you like this video or you want to see that uh, walk test video be sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, to get notification when I post that video. And uh, like always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.